Hey, everybody, welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. So I'm a bit of a benchmark junkie. I love using stuff like uh, the Pharonix Test Suite. I love to fire up a game and run it through a bunch of benchmarks at different settings, on different hardware, on different desktop environments, and, and see where those fluctuations are and where those interesting stories might be. Benchmarking games is a lot easier on Windows. And for a long time, the Linux world has needed a really robust, useful tool for benchmarking games. In the Windows world, there is this ancient tool called Fraps. And uh, what that does is it's just an FPS overlay and you hit F11 to start benchmarking a game. You hit F11 again to stop and you get all of the frame times. You get your minimum, average, and maximum frames per second. On Linux though, it can be a lot more difficult to get those kind of numbers. So unless you're using a canned benchmark, which is you know a game that has a built-in benchmark that will record all that data for you and present the output, you're kind of out of luck unless you want to use, you really get deep into the command line and, and use those tools. If you are a benchmarking junkie like I am, you might have heard of Flightless Mango. You can see his channel right up there. And uh, he does a bunch of just gorgeous, gorgeous benchmarking videos. And the tool he's using is Mango HUD, which he created. I've started playing around with it a lot, and I, I think it's gonna be an essential part of my software toolkit. So I figured why not turn what I'm doing into a little bit of content and show you guys what Mango HUD is like. And I'm gonna do hopefully a few of these. Maybe it'll be an ongoing series. I don't really know yet, but I am going to promise you that I will have an installation and usage guide for Mango HUD very, very soon. So keep an eye out for that by subscribing and clicking that bell so you can get notified of new content. So let's just jump right into it. What you're looking at now is one of the opening scenes of Metro Exodus running with the in-game engine. And this is happening on the Kubuntu Focus laptop running Salient OS. And that has a six core Intel i7 and a six gigabyte NVIDIA RT X 2060. And the overall graphics quality is set to Ultra. On the top left of your screen, you have the game running with Steam Proton version 3.16-9 and using DXVK version 1.0.2. And DXVK is what translates Microsoft's uh, DirectX 11 to the Vulkan API, which Linux can understand. On the bottom left of your screen, you have the game running with Proton 5.0-3 and DXVK 1.5.4. Now, the bottom right right is actually the same version of Proton, but I have switched the game to DirectX 12, meaning that it's now using VKD3D, which translates DirectX 12 to Vulkan. I've magnified the Mango HUD overlay on those three, and so on your top right, you'll see what the entire scene actually looks like, just kind of as a reference. The most interesting thing to pay attention to here is that green line. That represents frame times. That is the time that it takes a single frame to get rendered. Ideally, what you want to see here is a low frame time, a nice smooth green line, and the least amount of spikes possible. Since Mango HUD lets you easily log all of this data to a text file with a single keystroke, this is where things get super, super cool. Head over to flightlessmango.com and you'll see a user benchmark section. That is where you can turn those text files into these beautiful interactive charts. This is probably an obvious conclusion for many, but I was able to see here visually represented that steady march and improvement in both minimum frame rate and average frame rate for this game with each successive version of Proton. And it's also really neat to see that uh, DirectX 12 to Vulkan is in really good shape at this point. You've got to love a tool that not only crunches the numbers for you, but looks really good doing it. But I think that Mango HUD deserves and needs more exposure, more visibility. So I'm gonna put some links at the bottom of this video in the description. Jump in there, start using it. Let's let's all help Flightless Mango and his team uh, test it and grow it and take it to the next level. I'm just getting my feet wet with Mango HUD. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction to it. I think there's a lot to explore here and I will be back with more videos on this very topic, so stay tuned. And until the next video, take care and take care of each other. See ya. 
Thank you to my special awesome super fan patrons, Linux Paul M, Marcus, Stephen Cross, Leo Man, Brad W, and now I'm going to switch to my smooth jazz voice, Lango R, Andreas G, Samuel R, Peter K, Joseph D, and Carl S. You're listening to L4E Radio. Have a great night.